when you got a stain like this, you gotta do the laundry, try to take the stain out. But sometimes, stains are really hard to get out. So you take it to the cleaners, but there's some stains that even the cleaner doesn't wanna deal with. Mm -hmm. There are things in our lives that are like this shirt, messy. So messy that no one wants to deal with it. No one wants to clean it because no one can. The good news is Jesus can. There's a whole laundry list of stains in our lives and in our world. All the ways that we depart from God's way, which is pure and perfect. Things like selfishness, arrogance and pride, greed and violence, lust, ignoring the poor, Human society itself is riddled with things like war, oppression, ethnic, racial, and class prejudice, and the list goes on. These are stains upon the world and stains upon our lives. This is what the Bible calls sin, and we all got it. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. In other words, none of us are clean and pure, at least not by God's standard. We carry the dirt and grime of sin with us, and we don't just wear it, it's a part of who we are. Sometimes we feel unclean and wrestle with guilt and shame, and even when we don't, the stains are still there, and there's nothing we can do to remove them. And what's worse, because of these stains, we cannot be in perfect unity with God. And that's where Jesus comes in. When Jesus came onto the scene, a prophet named John said to his followers, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And in 1 John 1, 9, we read, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. The good news is that through Jesus, we are made clean, not just on the outside, but on the inside. His blood shed on the cross is like a transfusion that cleanses us from within. Hebrews 9.14 says, How much more then will the blood of Christ cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death, so that we may serve the living God? Through Jesus, not only are we cleansed of the consequences of sin, but we are made pure before God, so that we can be together with God, both now and forever.